Hello friends, this is me Aishi Joshi and you are watching me on the channel of AchieveIS. So today we are going to start a brand new series of Lakshya UPSC CSC in which we are going to take every individual hot topic in a crispy and point to point manner. Let's start today's topic. The first topic we are going to start with is National Disaster Management Authority. What it is, how it works and what are the organizational structure of it. The first question is based on what it is. NDMA is an apex body of Government of India with a mandate to lay down policies for disaster management. The phrase disaster management is to be understood as a continuous and integrated phrase of planning, organizing, coordinating and implementing measures which are necessary or expedient for prevention of danger or threat of any disaster mitigation or reduction of risk of any disaster or severity of its consequences as well as capacity building, preparedness to deal with any disaster, prompt response, assessing the severity or magnitude of effects of any disaster, evacuation, rescue, relief, rehabilitation and reconstruction. Now, let's take the next point. This is based on agency overview. Now, the chapter, the NDMA, the agency I can say it was formed by the 2005. The type of organization is an agency. The jurisdiction is based on Government of India. The headquarter of NDMA is NDMA Bhavan, Safdar Ganj Enclave, New Delhi. The annual budget of it is rupees 3.56 billion US dollar, 50 million planned by 2013 and 14. Now, who is the agency executive? The PM of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, is the executive agent of agency. And the parent department of this agency is Ministry of Home Affairs as well as the website of this agency is www.ndma.government.in. Let's take the objectives of NDMA to build a safer and disaster resilient India by a holistic, proactive, technology driven and sustainable development strategy that involves all stakeholders and fosters a culture of prevention, preparedness and mitigation. The NDMA envisions a safer and disaster resilient India. It tries to foster a culture of prevention, preparedness and mitigation. Let's take the organization of NDMA. The organization of NDMA is based on following operational divisions, planning and policy, mitigation, operations and communication division, administration division, capacity building division and finance division. Now, the composition of NDMA has a sanctioned strength of nine members. The chairman is the PM of India, that is Mr. Narendra Modi as of now as the de facto head to oversee the day-to-day -day affair of the NDMA, the vice chairman is appointed. Ever since its inception, the NDMA has been manned by non-experts who were politically affiliated to the government. Recently, the government has appointed three experts in the disaster management agency. These members are related to the field of disaster management. These esteemed members are Dr. D. and Sharma, as well as Sri Kamal Kishorji and Lieutenant General N. C. Marwa. You can see the every designation of all these members. The next point is the functions and responsibilities of NDMA to approve the National Disaster Plan, lay down policies on disaster management, approves plan prepared by ministries and departments of the central government in accordance with national plan, lay down guidelines to be followed by the state authorities in drawing up state plan, lay down guidelines to be followed by different ministries or departments of central government for purpose of integrating measures of disaster, prevention and mitigation of its effects in their development plans and projects, coordinate enforcement and implementation of disaster management policy and plans, recommend provision of funds for the purpose of mitigation, provide such support to other countries affected by major disaster as determined by central government, lay down broad policies and guidelines for the functioning of National Institute of Disaster Management. The last work of, of or I can say function and responsibility of NDMA is to take such other measures to prevention of disaster and mitigation 
or preparedness and capacity building for dealing with threaten or threatening disaster situation or disaster as it may consider necessary the evolution of ndma the national disaster management authority was a brainchild of the two committees high powered committee set up in 1999 in recognition of the importance of disaster management as a national priority issue therefore a separate national committee was set up after the gujarat earthquake these two committees have recommended or make recommendations on the present preparedness or i can say preparation of disaster management plans and suggest uh, suggestions mitigation measures furthermore in the 10th five year plan contained a chapter on disaster management in pursuit of the recommendation made by these bodies the government enacted the disaster management act in december 2005 hope you like the video if you like the video do like share and subscribe so that you can get every individual notification thanks for watching bye bye take care have a great time ahead